Okay, if you ever want to get the pea stains from cats out of your hardwood floors, like uh, I had to, um, I use this chemical here called uh, Bear Number 64 um, that can stain um, inciting finish uh, stripper. Um, the active ingredient in this is sodium hydroxide. And I mix one part sodium hydroxide with one part hydrogen peroxide, but in the gel form instead of the um, liquid form like you would get at, say, Walgreens or CVS. You want to get the the, the high highest uh, percentage you pro can probably get is uh, normally readily available at like a beauty salon store. Like uh, I went to Sally's and got a gallon. Same as this, a gallon, but in sodium hydroxide. Mix equal parts into a, a paint tray and uh, mix it up. And I use this. It's a uh, just Home Depot brush, and uh, on the end of a on the end of a uh, broom handle. And then um, take the strip, take the concoction, put it on the floor, scrub it in, and you'll do some tests. And the first test is to let it sit try 30 seconds and then after that try if it doesn't come out try another 30 seconds move in intervals of that so you're not letting it sit for too long you'll start to notice if you start to notice any degradation in the fibers then you know you're you've gone too far it should just take the stripper or should take the wood from any color to to almost opaque i mean it should have uh, it'll look almost white it looks like alder or something instead of red oak when you get done and then you're going to come back and do a stain over top and follow your procedure. But we had a house uh, foreclosure full of cat piss burns that burned through the carpet. So um, this worked great, this concoction. Again, go to Sally's, get a gallon of, or however much you want, of the um, hydrogen peroxide mix. And uh, it's, I think it's 90% gel. And it just goes a lot easier, easier to clean up. After you get the the concoction all scrubbed in and use the just use some water and um, clean it up with uh, another clean clean rag or another clean brush and just make sure everything's neutralized with water I let it dry out for a day and then uh, came back to make sure the moisture content was fine you can do use a moisture meter that you can get at any Harbor Freight anywhere or online for um, Twenty to forty dollars, and uh, and then you can start going on with your finishing. So put down your stain and your um, top coats after that. But you definitely need to stain it after you do this because it will take out all the color in the wood. So after you bleach, it's called bleaching the wood. After you bleach the wood with this concoction, um, notice make sure there's no more cat pee stains and um, neutralize it. And I, I did a final sanding as well. Um, because I wanted to get the, I want to get any residue up that I could. So that was our process, and hope this helps somebody else.